New studies show that having a, a dog as a kid, you end up with a much healthier microbiome and have less problems with Crohn's disease and colitis and other things. We love our dogs. Dr. Paul Hader, Master Herbalist, get healthy now. Hi, Dr. Paul Hader, Master Herbalist for 34 years and health and wellness instructor. And this is Missy. Let's get healthy. If you like what I do, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe and please tell other people. We have so many sick people these days. We got to get them healthy. Well, this is, this is Missy. And she's one of our little love dogs. And I've had dogs all my life. But new studies show if you have dogs as a kid, you have a much healthier microbiome or gut bacteria. Very important. Study was done uh, across many different continents, looking at, you know, 5,000 different people, people who had dogs and not dogs, and they found out that the people who had dogs had a much healthier microbiome or gut bacteria, had less problems with especially Crohn's disease, and it's also, you know, colitis and other gut problems. So dogs are important as we grow up. Absolutely, positively. I remember my first dog, Mickey. He was a kind of a Cocker Spaniel, a Brittany Spaniel kind of mix, a short-legged, and he was a wonderful dog. Absolutely, positively amazing. And we would sit on the steps. We lived out in the country. Big old house, 18 rooms. It was, you know, a historical site. And we would sit on those cement steps, and I would have a tomato or something. I'd take a bite, he'd take a bite, and we... <laughs> <laughs> would eat that way, and uh, I think that's why I have the good gut bacteria that I do, and uh, he was just a fantastic dog. I miss him too, even still today. It's not only microbiome uh, effects of having a, a dog. Also, people have, you know, better mental health and have less stress and less anxiety, and uh, also they have you know, sometimes a feeling that they have a reason to live because they got to take care of their dog. And it really does make a difference in people's lives. And they feel like they're loved. You saw our dog. You give me kisses. Uh, that is love. There's no doubt about it. And we love our dogs. And this is Big Moosey. And we got her not too long ago. Her uh, actual human mother came down with cancer and passed and she was sitting in a uh, an apartment all by herself and I said no we can't have that that's for sure so we ended up taking her she was uh, very heavy she was 31 pounds and now we've got her down to you know 18 pounds and she's down to bikini weight and she's really doing good and uh, we love her she's she's kind of a wild dog but she loves to give kisses too <laughs> So, dogs are good for you. There's no doubt about it. Or you're going to say, oh, you know, they eventually pass. We all eventually pass. And it's tragic. We lost a dog a, a little over a year ago. And I still miss Higo. She was a fantastic dog. And she was together with, with Missy, the, the blonde one there. And um, But now we have uh, Moosey. And she is a, a wonderful dog, too. She's really... Uh, she really enjoyed being with us, and she was stuck in an apartment, so now having a big yard and running around, she feels like she's won the, the lottery, and <laughs> it's really a lot of fun. Having a dog teaches kids to have responsibility. they got to take them for walks. they got to feed them. You know, we feed our dogs only organic food because dog food has a 100 times more chemicals in it than you find in regular human food, so that's really terrible. So our dogs get nothing but organic. And in fact, our um, our son, he has a little tiny dog and he, he found out that also that his dog was getting sick eating regular food and he started feeding his dog organic food and now he's doing great. So if you want to have better gut health and stay keep away Crohn's disease and, and a colitis and all kinds of gut problems. Also have better mental health, uh, also less stress and less anxiety and taking care of a dog is one of the best things you can do. You give them love, they give love back to you. 
there is nothing like a dog. I mean, you know, dogs will actually give up their life for you. There is no other animal that will do that, absolutely, positively. You know, and I've seen, uh, we had a dog, Jojo, and one time a man walked in front of me, and it was like, it, Jojo was like, Rrr. he knew that something's wrong with that man. Yeah, they have a sixth sense. They know what's going on. So they listen to their gut for sure. If you want better health, get a dog. Go to the pound, go to your SPCA. You know, our uh, daughter is also the head of the uh, Guaynabo, um, also SPCA uh, here in Puerto Rico. And she goes around the United States giving talks. Uh, and so it's really great. This is what she wanted to do all her life. And, and now she's doing it and they have a huge facility uh, and they do great things. Save a dog, save a life. You're going to save your own life too. She's part of the humane society here and uh, they do a fantastic dog. They also, you know, have horses and all kinds of animals and uh, boy, I'm, I'm very proud of her. If you have something going on, give me a call at 831-869-9119, 831-869-9119. I've had so many people, in fact, talking about dogs, I had a man that had a huge amount of stress and anxiety. I recommend he get a little dog. And I told him, you know, the responsibilities, you have to walk them twice a day, you got to play with them, you got to feed them organic food and all this type of stuff. And he ended up having all this stress disappear. And he fell in love with his little dog. And things changed. 831 869 9119. Remember God, remember I love you, and remember be kind to all animals on this planet. You know, he even talks about it in the Bible and just about every text that they all have spirit and we are their keepers and we are to protect them absolutely positively. And so be kind to animals and love them for sure. I love you.